We're the two gay reapers. Hey reefers, we're here today to start a brand new jar reef. Now we've done a couple of these before in the past. This one's going to be a bit different. It's going to be a little bit more complicated on the filtration side because I've learned I tend to neglect them. They need weekly maintenance. And it's gonna be a lot simpler on the actual animals and corals that are going inside. So that's two things that are gonna be a lot different. So I'm lucky enough now to be working from home. So this is my office. I've got a nice view out the window here and I've got the tank there. But I thought we'd go for a nice reef bowl here. Our jar reef is going to consist of a couple of key components. We have, first of all, a nice big goldfish bowl. This one is from a local home and garden type shop. It's relatively cheap. It holds about 20 litres, or that is about five gallons, I believe. But yeah, nice and big. To go with that, we have a lamp from Ikea. Uh, the lamp is whatever suits your decor basically because it will have this. Now this is the key light for all you jar reef enthusiasts out there. This is an ABI 12 watt tuna blue par 38 LED. This is the business. This will actually grow coral without you having to feed it not having to feed something in a jar reef of such a small size is key <laughs> otherwise you're just going to pollute it you're going to have nitrates through the roof not a good look this is very important now something i found on ebay was they actually make custom filters for the top of a goldfish bowl so we're going to give this a try it was relatively inexpensive i think it was about 25 bucks but I'll have the link down and below in the description. Good thing about this is it comes with a bit of filter floss, so a bit of mechanical filtration. I've got some carbon in there already. We're going to put some biomedia in this side from the sump of Mega Reef Silla. To run the filter, we have a little pump. This I salvaged from a freshwater setup we had many, many years ago. It was like a desktop tank, little pump. I've already connected some tubes up to it because we don't want to do plumbing on a tank this size live on video. Mind you, it may not work, but hey, we'll find that out together. This is untested. <laughs> untested, but I'm sure it'll work. And also have a nice little heater. Again, this one is salvaged from the same freshwater setup. This one is going to go in the tank as well to keep it at a constant temperature. Over here, we have some biomedia that we've already cycled. We've got some live rock. I did have some leftover rock that I've had in the sump of Mega Reef Zilla, so it's been cycling in there for the last two or three weeks, just to give a little bit of life to the setup straight away. Good thing about this goldfish design is it actually has an area for the cords to come out of. So water is pumped up, comes through here, goes down through the media, through the carbon, through to this side that's going to have the bio media there, and then obviously down out the spout and then it's got an emergency overflow there. So quite high tech for a goldfish pole. Now I guess it's time to fill up the tank and test out the pump and see if this filter idea that I've got actually works. Otherwise, this may not be a video. <laughs> exciting getting a new tank wet no matter how small it is. 
Just need to get that one wet. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Probably the only downside so far is there's a bit of loose carbon, but I can deal with that. And, and it's probably going to be a little bit noisy. It's a water feature. Uh huh. So just putting in a fancy aquascape, trying to keep this one very simple. Not putting in sand because I find that just creates a nice trap for nitrates. So the jar's been up a couple of weeks, so we decided to stop off at Nick's Aquarium to get a few inhabitants. We've got one little clownfish. He's gonna be lonely. He's gonna be lonely until we get another one. <laughs> and an anemone. So let's go and put these in. After a week or two, the tank entered its ugly phase. We put in a snail to combat some of the algae and it spawned instantaneously. So emergency water change there. Besides that, the tank is looking really, really good. We also decided to custom make an acrylic lid to stop A, evaporation and B, some of the water splashing and salt creep down the side of the jar. So that seems to be working well. So I've had this idea in my head for quite some time. Really happy to see it actually come to fruition actually excited with the results as well. So we'll keep you updated on this, but for now, if you've enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Bye for now. See you guys.